Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we are based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to correctly use the star tool in Adobe Illustrator and all the options that are available to you just using some shortcuts. What we'll be able to do is obviously create stars, starbursts and pentagrams and what I'd love you to do is take the steps that I show you today, implement them into your workflow. I guarantee you'll be able to create some really fresh and modern looking pieces of work. So obviously, let's get the star tool selected here. Now, if we start to click and drag, as you can see, I'm creating a five point star there very easily, as you can see. Now, if you press shift, we'll keep it nice and straight for you, like so. So nice and easy. What we're also able to do is if we press option for Mac users or alt for window users, what you'll be able to do is to create a pentagram like so. And as well, if you press shift as well at the same time, you'll be able to create a straight pentagram. Now, as you're drawing out, if you want to add more points to your star here, all you simply need to do is use the arrow keys. If I press up, as you can see, I'm able to put more points into that particular star. And obviously if you press down, you're able to decrease the amount of stars like so. Bear in mind, guys, I still have my mouse pressed down. What you're also able to do here is if you press Option for Mac users or Alt for Window users, you'll be able to create a shape like so. But if you want to manipulate the outer and inner radius, all you need to do is press Command Shift for Mac users or Control Shift for Window users. And as you can see, if I draw it further there, I'm affecting the outer radius. But if I come in there, you'll be creating and manipulating the inner radius like so. And now I have a very, very cool looking piece of design that I can implement in logos, patterns, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what I would like to do now is probably swap the, the fill and the stroke around. So if I come here, I can just simply swap the fill and the stroke around like so, or there is a keyboard shortcut uh, for uh, all of us, and that's Shift X. As you can see here, I'm pressing Shift X, and that allows you to swap the fill and stroke around like so. Also as well, guys, if you're wanting to be more sort of specific with the measurements of your star tool, all you need to do is get the star tool, just simply click on the artboard there like so, and you're able to affect the outer radius, so radius one and radius two, and you can manipulate the points here. So if I was to come through and put, let's say, 15 points at radius of uh, one point, sorry, 111.2265, and radius two or four, 9.0494 and press OK, like so. And there you have it, guys. That's how you correctly use the Star Tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.